everyone, I'm Cece. Look, do you know what I've got in my hand? Yeah, it's a lantern. But it's a special one, called a palace lantern. You know, it used to be hung up in the imperial palace or an official's mansion as decoration. Then do you know which traditional Chinese festival is the best time to watch lanterns? Yuan Xiao Jie, of course. It is also called the Lantern Festival. The Lantern Festival has a history of more than 2,000 years in China. It is the first day with a full moon in the first lunar month. People celebrate the Chinese New Year from Spring Festival to the Lantern Festival. Houses and streets are decorated with lanterns and colored hangings to promise a prosperous and happy new year. After electricity was widely used, people no longer needed traditional lanterns for light. But holding large-scale lantern shows still remain as a tradition. There are all kinds of lanterns, floats, big or small. Haha, I wish I had more than two eyes for these. The colorful lanterns are usually made of paper or silk, painted with landscapes, flowers, and birds. Figures and auspicious patterns or words. Look, this is Zoma Deng, a lantern with a revolving circle of paper horses telling interesting folk tales. Well, this is a red gauze lantern. The fringe is beautiful, isn't it? Hey, these are river lanterns looking like stars in the river. So romantic. There are also riddle lanterns with riddles of Chinese characters. Now let me give you a lantern. Two brothers. They are slim and long. They usually appear in pairs at a dinner table. They are used not for soup, but for dishes. They are daily articles used by Chinese people. Can you guess what they are? Okay, before I tell you the answer, now let's see some other interesting things about the Lantern Festival. Setting off firecrackers and fireworks is a traditional activity of the Lantern Festival. Dragon dance and lion dance, you must have watched them in Chinatown. There are also float parade, land boat dance, stilt show, the Yangko dance. No wonder people call it a Chinese carnival. Speaking of the Lantern Festival, we need to talk about a traditional Chinese food, Yuan Xiao. Sweet dumplings made of glutinous rice flour in round shape. They are usually made of sesame, rose, nut, and jujube fruit. The round shape symbolizes family reunion and happiness in Chinese. Back to the riddle. Have you got the answer now? Yeah, they're chopsticks. They always appear in pairs, don't they? Well, after celebrating the Lantern Festival, Chinese people would start another large-scale migration of returning to their work or study, refreshed and with the sweet love and best wishes from their family to create a better future with diligence and wisdom. That's repeated year after year. Probably that's the secret of Chinese staying dynamic.